everybody, I am going to show you guys how I rasterized this image in ProRip. The only thing I did in Photoshop is I just distressed this sidewalk a little bit. So let me show you how I did it. So first, let's um, open up the file. Well, first, well, I take that back. Let me show you all. The first thing we want to do is make sure our queue is set to premium because that's the paper I used. Now let's go ahead and pull in the image. And then I'm going to go over here to the job tab, rotate it 90 degrees because it is a landscape. And I'm going to give myself a little room. It's an A4 sheet, so I'm going to use 11.4 um, to give me just a little extra room here for my peel because this is a very dense image. Now I'm going to click on color adjust and I'm going to start moving these sliders around. So this is a going on a black shirt, so I'm gonna use really as dark as I can. Uh, I could probably go darker, but I'm gonna use 15. I'm gonna bring my brightness down to 10 and my saturation to five. I'm gonna keep my choke at medium. Um, we're gonna use knock me blackout here, so we do wanna be able to vary the whole sides and areas of partial transparency. So we're gonna make sure these are clicked, and then we're gonna click OK. Now we're gonna double click this image and set our whole size and rasterization. So we're gonna go up here to the color layer, ink removal, and I'm gonna choose 26 frequency, 22 angle, and inverted round. And again, I'm gonna leave 255 and 0.7 as my whole size for transparency, click OK. And now I'm going to remove the black. So I'm going to go down here to production plugins, knock me black out, and this screen comes up. And so the two things I'm going to work with, the ones that I usually use, are underbase and opaque. So if you look here, you can see it's already knocked the black out for us. But I want you to look and see what happens. So if we go to opaque, we have no transparency except where the black was knocked out, but there's really not any transparency. So what we wanna do is give ourselves a little bit more transparency. So we have nice you know, holes for rasterization. Um, but this is going on premium paper, so I'm not gonna to get too crazy with it. So I think I'm probably going to go to maybe 162 and I'm going to drop my under base down to about 63. And so now we've got some transparency which will allow ProRip to change our whole size based on the amount of transparency. So let's show the shirt color. So that's what the image should look like um, after we rasterize it. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to right click. Well, wait, well, I guess we have to wait for it to render. So now that it's rendered, I'm going to right click here and rip only. And then right click again, view raw data. And so now you can see where the holes are, and that should be plenty of rasterization for the premium paper. Uh, so I'm gonna go with this, and I'm just gonna close this out and hit print. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day.